crouch down, you can see about two-thirds of the cave. Now from up here, we also happen to have an excellent view of what we like to call Cathedral Dome. Now Cathedral Dome is home to 200 to 300 of our fastest growing stalactites. And they are the fastest growing because they are so close to the surface. They receive all the water and nutrients they need from each rainfall first. Now if you would like a closer look at some of these stalactites, look right above your head. Here we have our baby stalactites, but don't let the name fool you. These little guys are 100 to 150 years old. And we have a saying that goes along with them. If you get a drop on your head from one of these little guys, that's a year of good luck. A drop on your nose is five years of good luck. A drop on your shoulder, your arm, anywhere else, and you're getting wet. Now some of you may have noticed it just hit a my hand. temperature difference as you came up here. It is actually a Such high good of 56 luck. degrees at the top of the cave, as opposed to 54 degrees everywhere else. That is because we have no natural chimney out. So all the heat That's in the cave water. will eventually rise to this point. Now some of you may have also noticed this black splotch all the way up here on the far side of the usual dome. This right here actually occurred when first tours came into the cave. Because it was so dark, what the tour guide would do was take in a big bottle of kerosene, dump it onto the stones, and light them on fire. <laughs> now because our cave has no natural chimney out, all the smoke eventually rose to the top of the cave and discolored the stone. I've got no surface on here. So... <laughs> Alright, now one last thing. Of course thing. you're going to have no surface. Behind you here, these rocks. Ow, our nice. cave has only Big. one entrance and exit, making it a closed cave system. However, geologists believe that in a few thousand years, these stones will erode away to create another entrance and exit to the cave. Now we could stand around and wait for that to happen, but I'm pretty sure you want to continue your tour, so we're going to head back down the stairs. We'd all be boneless by the time it formed. Boneless. Anyway, welcome to part two of the Crystal Cave Experience. It's your boy, Yoshi Pond. And we are climbing down some stairs. Yeah, I know. You're still recording when we're going down these steep, very, very steep stairs. Yeah. This, I wish, this is the first time I've vlogged. <laughs> This is about the third. I, I don't do like look like you guys should check out my last video, which I guess you can consider a vlog. I don't vlog much because I never got time. Yeah. Because I never can vlog much. Yoshi Yeah. Because if you go outside, because if you're if you're outside, you're too boneless. I will say that his name is Aiden, but no face. Hashtag name reveal. His name is Hunter. That's a light. Massive light! That is also a light. That is awesome. Hey, look at this, like, streak on the wall here. Yo, stop. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, you're probably violating YouTube's new policy by saying that. I said D. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. I said look too much. D. You better have. <laughs> this is also a light. No. Look at the streak on the wall. It is amazing. This rock is cracked. There's no initials though. Kids are throwing coins in there. Throwing coins. Oh, almost had it. I made it. There's a little bit. There's a hundred dollars worth of coins in there. There's a bin behind it. Get this on video, bro. You got it. You got it. Yeah. Hey, he got it. Hey, I saw that. There is a tiny sliver of movement on the camera. You can't even see it. See this coin? See this coin? Look at this coin. Yeah, that, that round thing. Brick. That was cash. My mom has made two shots in a row. Who is doing that? It's a spooky ghost. 
No spooky ghosts. But he's probably boneless. Look at that. You really can It keeps sounding like she's saying glowstone, like the kind from Minecraft. I'll stop. No, it's flowstone. It starts with an F. Flow. Stone that flows. Um, no, I'm fine. I want to try. Y'all see this coin? I got it. Huh. Hey! I got a quarter. I got a quarter. Let's do it. Do it, bro. Nice. Another tiny sliver of movement. Look at all these coins that are on the rock. Imagine if they fished out all these coins. This place will be rich. Well, a drop of water hit my head, so I think I got a year of good luck. See part one for that information. More high voltage boxes. Noise. My mouth just hit the screen. This is another light. I finished off the video because my yeah, that's moss. And fungi. Red light. Boop. Don't want to fall down there. Actually, it's too small to fall. Back down the stairs. I ended up my video because my phone was like... Hi, you ran out of storage. Whoa. That's a light. <laughs> oh, we're back in the ballroom. No. It's extra slippery, which means if you slip, you'll be extra boneless. I want to see the bats. We'll wait till nine o'clock. Stay here. Okay. Put them right here. Okay. <laughs> Your mom won't be happy to be alone. You gotta get on the bus where you can. Can you give me like your last like, part of the video? So I can get my And I'll just tell like the last part of the video. And about your channel. Laughing your phone back. No, my um, ran out of storage. <laughs> Alrighty guys, we're just gonna be heading to the top of the steps to our last stop. Ooh. Well, it's on, it's on Aiden, what happened to the lake? I thought there was a lake. I've been lied to. You said we were gonna get um, like special rocks. Um, actually, the whole lake being at the bottom of a cave called Crystal Cave reminds me of um, this game called Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Sky. Oh yes. Where there's actually one of the dungeons is called Crystal Cave. You have to solve a bunch of puzzles. And then, when you get to the bottom, there's a lake where a mythical Pokemon is waiting. Wait, what is it? Um, as well. Oh. The being of knowledge. No, no knowledge. No, it's knowledge. No. Just stop. Look at that. That does look like a giant carrot up there. Oh, yeah, it does. Oh, snap, it is. Hi, I was the first to notice something in here. It's like a pepper. Alrighty, guys, <laughs> we're now on top of that drop rock. We were under in the storage room. What? If you turn your eyes to the ceiling, you can see the cracks and where it fell from. That has allowed to grow in its place all the way up here at the very top of the cave. The largest delight type we have. It's a carrot. At six feet long, an estimated weight of 500 to 600 pounds. Our ear is born. So this also it's, happens it's to carrot. be the only formation you are allowed to take home with you. If you can climb all the way up to the ceiling, chop it off, and carry it out with no help, it is all yours. Good luck.
Okay. All right. Everybody Let's do it. Guys, and right up here at the top Minecraft. of this rock rock, we have Snoopy playing on his doghouse with his nose sticking up in the air. Oh. Right over here, we have a small cluster of dinosaur eggs. Any Star Wars fans with us here today? No. Yeah. Right over here, an Imperial Star Destroyer. Oh. And my personal favorite, we have the ski cap, the puppy cheek, the eye, the nose, the mouth, and the icy it's a grandma of Jack Frost. We like to say he keeps the cape oh, in nice cool face. 54 degrees all year round. All right, that's the, the end side of the of tour, guys. As you exit, stay to the left. You will not be able to exit to the right. If wow. anyone has any questions at all about the cave, I will answer them for you on the way out. Have a great day, guys. Thank you. Ooh. That was pretty cool, Tom. Don't bring everybody down. Hi, Jack Frost. Literally. I was afraid I was going to hit my head when I was running down here. Wow. So, anyway, that is the end of the tour. If you enjoyed, leave a like. Subscribe if you want to help out the channel. Click the bell if you don't want to miss any of my next uploads. And as we exit, back into the war here. We'll see you guys next time. Dab! Woo!